All right, you guys. That wonderful day is here. I, I need to go get a lid, too. That's how I like to do it when I'm doing this. All right, you guys, you're getting a, a good look at an early harvest. Whoa. Frame that frame is ready. Now, this is how I shake them off, just so y'all know, okay? So let me hit them. Where am I smoking? Huh? Mm -hmm. Not the smoker. That's the smoker. I was squeezing it. Okay. This is how I get the bees off of the honey. Smoke them a, smoke them a little bit. And then I give them a, a shake like this. I'm going to see if y'all can see that. Boom. 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 That's why your frame's got to be put together good. See that? All right. Run it. All right, so you guys, right, I can't that see. That's one medium frame. That's one medium frame. Front and back. They heavier than you think. They don't look heavy. Um, this is another one. Capped. It's okay that that middle part is not capped, I think. No, that's just, this is just honey we gonna, don't turn yeah. it upside down. This is just honey that we gonna eat um, quick because this part ain't capped. And some of that's pollen, so it's okay. Yeah. So that'll just get filtered out. So go ahead, hit it with some smoke. And then All right. I don't even need no smoke. Watch this. Watch me work, baby. So hi to everybody coming in. And oh my goodness, look at all that honey down there. Oh boy. Oh, get off there, everybody. Shake your pants. Make you dance. Come on, little ladies. Your sisters is telling y'all to come on. Shake them. Now let me not do that again. Okay. And then we close them up in another box on the side. So everybody's asking me, how do I get all the bees off um, when we are harvesting honey? I do a shake. I don't use a brush and all of that other stuff. I mean, ain't nothing wrong with that. But this is faster. If you're strong enough to do this, oh my God, look at this. Look at this, honey. Here, here, here. I see they got so much propolis in here. Mm. No, it's just that heavy full of honey. Really? Yes. Wow. Look. It's not capped, but it is solidified. Yeah, if y'all can. Uh, yeah, because it's right next to some drone brood. Yeah. Oh. Well, let's just scoot. Let's just try. I'm going to put this here. And let's just see how much, I don't see any more. I mean, I know it's that time. I don't want to see no more than this. I know, that's right. Nope, the whole frame, both sides, straight drone. I'll up another one, too, right next to it. And that looked like a queen cell down here. Empty. Okay, okay, that's a reconstructed. The next open like she hatched out. Right, so that'll be a good deal. All right, more drones. Golly. Okay. I hate to see drone brood. I mean, Don't turn upside down. Why well, see? That's why. As long as it ain't none in this box up under the Drone brood. Not cool. All right. What you? Excellent. Mm -hmm. 
new frames. I was just about to say, okay. So everybody, uh, it's hard for me to see the camera. So I want to say hello and welcome to all my new beekeepers. Welcome to all the SOB club. Everybody that's saving our bees. That's what SOB stand for, not what y'all think. But uh, we are in here again in the greenhouse lounge doing the doggone thing getting our bees together so far we got a couple of frames of honey we're working on we were uh trying to work the hive this is our old hive that we split and we just seeing where it is because uh yeah this is the one with the new queen the it, old hive with the new queen the old hive with the new queen here here let me get in there i'll be your muscle baby smoke me God, that's heavy. Okay. It must be a queen in here because they really docile. But remember, it's a queen. Now, is she yeah. doing what she's supposed to be doing? Let me, let me get the hot beetle trap. I don't think I put a beetle trap back. It should be doing behind me. Oh, I must, I must be smart enough to do it, man. Okay. You guys... Like we was telling you, um, beekeeping, it's a task, it's a job. It's fun at times, sometimes it's crazy, but the rewards are priceless. Drone brood, jeez. New comb drone brood. They buzzing me real good here. Yank it straight up. It's just drone brood. No, I can't because of this. Oh, yeah. mm. I love to see new comb, though. That's always a sign of progress. Oh, oh you got to that. be kidding me. Oh, that's, about to drip. that's okay. That's this is what we were talking about when they start cross combing. They start. Wait. Uh, give give me that wax here. This, not that. I'm no no not the piece they built. This. I don't want to taste it. Taste it. You get stung right in the mouth. I'm gonna set this to the side for a second. More drone this is not cool. Uh -huh. A lot on this side too. So what we're looking at now, you guys, is a lot of drone brood. All these ones that look like uh, Reese Puffs. That means That's either it's the season and she went off or she wasn't mated well, and all she has is unfertilized egg. Or there's a laying worker. So that is not cool at all. This one looks like solid honey. Yep. That's awesome. Good, good honey. They still working in it. I'm trying to see if I see her anywhere just in case. Because uh, this queen might suck. So we might have to... No, we got to get that package tomorrow. Oh, okay. Like that. So I might... I have to pick up a package tomorrow. I don't know. Let me see. It's not hatched. Well, here's a, yes, yeah, that's, that's a, a cap queen cell. Wait, at the bottom. Here, babe, just turn it normal so I can hold it right. I don't want to have, I got it. Here's a cap queen cell right here under the bottom. So we still don't have a queen. That's why it's so many, or they got rid of the, here, honey. Or they got rid of, they got rid of her. Because something ain't cool with all these drone sales. 
if we can get a good queen in here in time, that'll they'll just bring change that up and give us all that honey. Pollen. It's a huge hive, I know that. It's full, it's full of bees. Definitely full of bees. We're doing all right. Uh, look like a, uh, 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 a queen cell, two queen cells right here, capped. Look. In the okay. middle. So we got two queen cells in the middle of the frame. I think, hold on. I see the queen on this frame. I want to pick it up. Well, I'm holding this with one hand. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm going to set this down. Wait, there's plenty of queen cells on the bottom of that frame, too. Just look, you got a queen right here. Here's the queen. She must be unmated right here. Here's the queen. I see her. I see her. Here's the queen, you guys. Right here at the tip of my glove. Yeah, she's now, small. If we find some, I say some let's larva, get let's get rid of her. That there was a period that they had to wait for the queen to hatch. Where did she go? I lost her. Right here. Here she is. Right here. She going to the other side. She's on this side here. Here she is. Just in case you've never seen it. And I got one bee that's freaking tripping. Go eat some cereal or something, mug. Uh. They tripping on the phone. They don't like the camera. They hitting the camera like crazy, so y'all can probably hear it. Okay, so we found the queen. Oh she's boy. Queen. She's tiny. I say I we should get rid of her because you don't know. You just don't know Well, we got stage. four about to hatch out no matter what. Well, if they do what they supposed to do, they will take care of the rest. Okay. So we're going to let mother nature handle it. Look, honey keep on popping all over the street. Give me some smoke. Break it up, ladies. Break it up. Honey, all pure honey. Worker brood over here. And some larvae. Worker brood and larvae on the frame. Maybe she's just leave her alone. Yeah. I don't want them to swarm you off. Is get, what I get all them drones out of here though. They can't hang out. That's just too much. They eat up all the honey. Okay. So, we'll have to see what's in the bottom. What's on that phone? This is just documenting um, our bee journey with our beekeeping club, honey, nectar. All right. We're going downstairs. So we're gonna close it back up, but we definitely gotta take this those that drone brew out. At least out of that. Just crunch them up, babe. Let's go. At least the ones in that top box. Yeah, that top box is what I'm worried about. That was just ridiculous.
that messy, that messy frame. Wait, I want to show him this messy frame. Hold up. This is our problem right here with this frame. I'm not even going to mess with them. Come on. We're just going to show you where the, they expanded this comb right here. And it's all just pure honey down there. And now they cleaning it up. They going off cleaning it up. All right. Wait, wait. We just put it back the way it was for now. Did you do that was up against the wall? How did yeah, you do this, honey? If you put this back, they're gonna keep expanding that. Well, this so. is what we need to do. Like cut crap and just cut all this honey down and let them rebuild that properly. See that? Don't even be nice with it. Just cut it, reshape it, and they'll fix it. We'll scrape that honey. See all this honey on this on this tool? All I'm gonna do is scrape that down in here. They'll fix it. Voila. Now they're gonna reshape this properly so they don't overstep their bounds. Put it here, let me do it. You got it? I got it, honey. I got it. Yep. Pick it up. All you gotta do is say, baby, I need some help. All I'm gonna do. Oh, you got you got to say your words right, baby. Yeah, you gotta let me know what's going on. All right, smoke me. Pissed off. This is so heavy. This is the part y'all keep telling y'all. Okay, let's see what we got going on downstairs. This is the part I'll be telling y'all about. That uh, I'm running out of sauce. I'm about to go get some more fuel. He did it. He did it. They are always really mad by the time you get down in this spot. There's kind of really nothing you do except kind of just keep going and be grateful for the beast food. I know, right? Was it empty? Yeah. All right, y'all. I got to reset my smoker. My fuel is going faster because I had a little mishap earlier. I need some cold white smoke. All right. We seeing what's going on down here. Watch your face, baby. Come on, ladies. Break that mess up. Pull it off a chunk of honeycomb. They are going in this hole. Something in this hole is driving them nuts. No, the camera hole. The tripod hole. Huh? Pollen. Pollen.
Yeah, don't. Stung. Sorry, y'all. Some had an interruption. I think I might have got stung in my hat. Cause they keep busting me up. It's just these, these certain ones. Tote drone brood all over the place. All right, closing it up. Smoky baby, like a ham. Yeah, they getting real agitated. That's because the queen is behind her. The queen is not, they can't hear her. And they probably can't smell her because I'm smoking them like a doggone brisket. Wind is blowing and moving my smoke. Put that medium in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you on it. Oh, they clowning. Just, we need to move faster though. They are getting pissy. Right now, you need to leave them alone for the very second. Yeah. Let them calm down and go from there. Because they are clowning. This is part of the game, y'all. We don't want that. You gotta be kidding. Here. No, you get it. I was going, I had this one up. Then you said put it under that. Yeah, it don't make no, never mind. It don't make no difference. Woo, I'm telling you y'all. Do they need to feed her back? Nah, nah, nah. They don't need nothing right now. They tripping. Like, what have you done to her? You cut off her food supply. You cock a duties. What you doing? Yeah, they ain't gonna leave you alone. I walked all the way to the, the house and they didn't. All right. So that's it. So for now, family, we're gonna call it a day. Yeah, smoke yourself. We got geese fighting. Uh, she just left me, honey. We got equipment. She just dipped on me. me in the mouth. All right. 
They trying to they trying to bust at me. Grab what you can. Let's hit it. Really? I thought you said we don't gotta bother with this one. That was, that was my misunderstanding on that one. I'm just tired of cooling the gang over here. Look at them on me. Something must be wrong with that queen for to be tripping like this. I don't need to do all that. Come on. Give me that smoke. Let me smoke one real quick. Let me smoke one. They'll get off me after I smoke this one. Yeah. Yeah. That's that Cali Green. <laughs> they is tripping on the phone. I don't know. I don't understand. All right, come on. It might be them beans I ate last night. Did they don't that frequency? Yeah. They don't like the frequency that my butt is making. Okay. So they straight clowning. Look at how it go, y'all. It ain't always simple and easy. I ain't gonna lie to you and make it like that. You gonna have to work. You want that honey, sometimes you got to go to work. I'm just burning on one side for some reason. Okay, here. Is this a regular bee on me or is it queen? That's a regular, regular bee. bee. She big though. Mm. Mm. I can't believe they up here working. Okay, we good. This is what I wanted to see. This is where we moved the old queen at. Remember just the other day I said I opened it up, went down in there, and wasn't nothing down there? Look at all that brand new comb right in the middle up here. That's what I want to see. Mm. She like, don't rush me. So this is, I know this is boring for a lot of people, but you know, beekeeping ain't no NASCAR show for the most part, unless you're getting popped. That's when it can get funny and entertaining, but for the most part, um, it's kind of like watching somebody do yoga. It's slow, but it's rewarding. Is they cross combing? Okay. Okay, because I can kind of see. Okay, that's perfect. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Yeah, don't. I see it. In, in the architects. Dang, they banging me. Cross. I'd rather be cross combed. I don't care. I'd rather be cross combed to keep on seeing the Hey, just let me see. I don't even know what you saw. You gotta relax. I'm the one supposed to be uptight. No, I was just telling you. I just did that, so it just needs to be pulled. See? No, they okay on this frame. The next frames look like this stuff. See, this, I don't care about it dripping. That, this the only thing I see. I'm gonna see if y'all can see that big chunk at the bottom dripping, honey. Nectar. I'm just gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna just scrape it. Matter of fact, I'm gonna scrape that onto the floor. That's just more wax that we gonna use for something else. Whole big ball. Put that over here. See if y'all can see any of this crazy stuff going on. Well, babe, 
We gotta move. Some stuff. Some stuff we can't just sit around. We gotta move. They ain't gonna wait for us. They got um, cross comb at the bottom of this frame. They are literally sticking the they frames upside down. Building upside down. This is the kind of stuff we was telling y'all to watch out for. Yeah, go get a bucket in the kitchen, quickity quick. This is what we was telling y'all about the mess that can happen if you don't set your, if you put empty frames in there without any kind of starters. This is the kind of mess that starts happening. You will get a bunch of cross comb messed up mess like this. I'm bringing you in a lot closer. See, it's full of honey, but I'm literally going to take all of these pieces and scrape them off into a bucket. And they're going to have to restart because we can't we can't let them keep doing this. See, that's no structure. That's nothing. That's just a mess. And if you don't catch this in the beginning, keep your eyes on that. If you don't catch this in the beginning, you will never be able to open this whole doggone beehive to do anything. Again, this is why I do not like those hives that you pump the honey out. You need to be in there checking your hives. Ugh. You need to be in there checking your hives. So you can see if this kind of dumb stuff is in there happening. So what you're going to see me do now is scrape this whole bottom piece off of here. This whole thing got to go. You got the bucket, honey? Okay. All of that got to go. That's just a nightmare. Just a nightmare. I can't allow this. Okay. All right. I'm about to, I know I'm about to shake them first. Let me, let me shake them off. Okay. Now that they all off, you can even see better the mess that they made. Give me the bucket. So I'm scraping off all of that mess that they did. I'm going to leave this little nugget right here because that looks to be okay. The rest got to go. Huh, let me put this chunk in there too. And the bees will clean it out and go home. Hmm. Yeah, we can just scoot that over. All right. We got another one like this. That's why I like to have them followers in there. Remember I was telling y'all how to stick the wax in the, in the frames? I put this box on here in emergency and it didn't have, I just don't understand why would they do this dumb stuff. This is dumb. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on. It's like they're building up from the Wait, bottom. let me shake them first, cause this. Don't worry about being them being upset. They too busy cleaning this honey up. Cause they don't want to lose it either. Okay. So we have a taste test. But all of that down there, we're going to have to scrape all that down in this. Look down here. You see all of that? Got to clean all of that up. <sighs> yeah, that ain't stuck. But I, got, I am going to clean this mess up that they started on this one, too. Now, don't allow no mess to stay. Because if you do, they're just going to rebuild right on top of it. They already made their own blueprint. Okay, this is, this is good. So now we're just going to scoot all this back and put it back and go down in the bottom and clean this crap up that I just showed you. Now, I'm moving fast. You tell me where, I don't know where you had that at exactly. Where's the smoke? Keep that noise. We just documenting our bee journey with all these new bees. Funny enough, tomorrow I gotta pick up a brand new package. We've caught two swarms, split one hive, turned those into two, 
So we're going to eventually have five hives. I told you, one turns into two, two turns into four, four turns into eight, yada, yada, yada. Look at you little muscles. Now look at all this mess we got down here. I don't want to smoke them too hard because I want that honey. I got to clean that up right now. Smoke it right behind your cheeks, baby. Right behind just. I'm going to start cleaning this now while she's doing that. I'm trying to hurry up. I don't want to start a feeding frenzy. There's other bees in the area, and they will smell this honey real fast. And then you then you will have robin going on. This is a strong hive, but I just do not want to do that at all. All right. So we're going in this bottom hive. <sighs> I'm about to put a top on that. Uh, some kind of top got to go on this on this bucket. God, there's so much mess. Look at what we got here. You got it. That looked like a big hunt. I got the, I got the, the stand. All worker brew, solid as a rock. Solid as a rock if that queen ain't a bad mo. Oh, she 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 is incredible. So I'm looking for her now and they tripping on us. Okay, hold on here. You can do this by yourself, but if you can get somebody to help you, it's always better. Nothing wrong with doing it by yourself. Y'all done seen us both do it alone. But you see all how much easier it is when you got somebody to help you. Look at all of that. A little bit of drone brew at the very bottom. But they done filled up. The drones done hatched out. It's like they hatched out, but they're filling it. Filling all the holes, the big holes full of honey. See them? See how big them holes is? There's a little drone here. Drone brew. But they filling all the holes with nectar. It had to be a crazy flow because... That would make them do that, like, so desperately? Yeah. Because I'm telling you, I, um, I put sugar on them. They ain't touch it. That honeysuckle is blooming. Uh, I see some uh, worker brood on this side hatching out. I'm looking for the queen right now. So it's going to be hard to see her. You see larvae in there? Okay, that's a good deal. So what we gonna do is what we, what, uh, we're gonna run an experiment and put a, uh, something I'm always against is a um, queen excluder. Cause I know how big this queen is, number one. God, that got honey dripping all down the back of all the bees. Yes, yeah, sit, sit still, sit still. I want to make sure I don't hit the queen either. Hold it tight. Okay. All right. This is getting crazier by the second, y'all. I'm in the I'm in the basement down here. Start looking on the next frame. Looking on that one. Um worker brood. Pollen. Queen oh, queen cell. Right there. Boom. On the end. Oh by this hand. Oh, okay. I see it. It's not capped. It's about to be. It's about to be capped. And they building a little one at the bottom. 
So let's start looking for, let me see. Okay, let's start looking for the queen. We can't let her go. Okay, so they preparing the swarm, as you guys can see. We got a queen cell right there. That thing that looked like a peanut, right there. That's a queen cell, and it's a little baby one on the bottom there. The baby one does have a, a queen larvae in it, and this one is capped. No, it's not capped. So they're still feeding that big queen. Yeah, exactly. So if we find this queen, which we should, she got to go back to the old hive. She was old. I hope ain't nothing happened to her. I know this is tripping y'all out. Like, what is they doing? But there's more going on than meets the eye on this one. So it's a desperate look search for the queen right now queen queen cell right there at the bottom so if we get her she definitely got to come out so here's another queen cell y'all at the very bottom of this frame if you can see that right here so that's telling us they ready to swarm uh i think so wait my hand is slipping in the honey <laughs> It's definitely capped. Look, it's a bunch of queen cells under there. Oh, it sure is. Oh, she may be gone already. Yeah. So we better leave it alone. Okay. So she decided to swarm anyway. Look at how solid. Oh, we can't let her go. And there's plenty of queen cells under the bottom. Wow, that's crazy. That's crazy. No matter what. Oh, man. That's uncapped queen cells. They're uncapped? Yeah. Not all of them are capped. Well, one of them is capped. So I'm going to just try my best to show you all these queen cells. the best I can anyway. Okay, all right. We, I'm not, I'm not seeing her. I mean, I couldn't really look in the upper box because I know, but we gotta, we gotta go through here. We got to find her. All right, y'all, I'm gonna probably end this. Huh? That, up the top. that right now is the least of my concern at this very moment. Cause I'm trying to, we gotta find that queen. We can come back and clean it another time. But this, this, we got to find her. All right. Keep it rocking, bro. All right. She must be in here. See how calm they are? Yeah, she gotta be. She gotta be in here. She probably in that upper, upper deck. Keep your eye peeled for her. And this is a lot of worker brood, honey, pollen, nectar. It, she, it, everything is going right. And this is a plastic frame. Can you believe that? Like I hear it. I see some more queen cells on the next frame. Oh, this worker. Okay. I could have swore I heard her. I'm about to see. I bet you she. I bet you she at the end. Like boys to me. Get ready. You got your clip. Yeah. Clip on your hip, baby. Mm -hmm. All right.
We looking for the queen now, y'all. Look at how solid that is. That pattern, she is a monster. She's a monster. I don't see her though. We was moving so fast. I'm pretty sure she in the top because we <laughs> oh, that's all, honey. She ain't gonna be on this. This is solid, pure honey, capped honey. If y'all see that, pure solid capped honey. Okay. It's solid. Is that all, honey? Yep. A little bit of pollen here and there. That's solid, capped, pure honey. Mm. It's heavy as I don't know what. Before I'm putting it back, I'm seeing if I see it. I see it. All right, let me get in here. Let's just put it back together and try to find her. That's all we can do. We got to find her with all the mess going on that we see. Now y'all see, there's nothing wrong with those... Uh, those ones they advertise, but they don't never see you doing this, they say, because it make it easier. Easier than what? All I seen you do is harvest out some honey, right? Those people in those commercials can harvest out the honey. But you ain't gonna tell me that they don't gotta go down in the bottom and do this work. I hear her. I hear her, babe. I don't think it's this one. I think it's this one. I heard her. I heard her. You don't see her? Okay. I'm telling you, I know what she sound like. I heard her. She gotta be on this one. If she ain't on this one, she on one of the ones hanging. Here? Man, I hear her. I just need to see her. She always sounds like me, 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 me. Mm. All right, we got to keep moving. And I'm not looking for the dot, I'm looking for her body. Cause you know that dot is not. Um. Okay, get them back in. Ooh. Let me look in. Nothing. Over here. Don't turn it upside down. see her. I'm gonna do my best to answer some questions after this but as you see it's gonna be a little weird Oh, 
on me. All right. Light it up in the smoke. Day, if you watching the video, just come over. If you, I know, I'm just saying. If you watching the video, day, come over. I'm in the middle of a mess. We gotta find that queen. You got it. All right, the smoker is right behind you. Okay. My tool is sticky. <laughs> That's funny. Yes, it is. She's not in this ball of juice. But so far, I've been looking in here. I don't fear in here either. <laughs> right. Could very well have already left because there are cat queen cells. So, all right, I'm going to leave that. Let's see if I can get away from these bees and answer some of y'all questions. Hey, Regina Kelly. Hey, hey, hey. I don't know. Um, I can't take off my, my hat yet. Hey, y'all. Uh, I still couldn't find her. I just went ahead and closed it up. You got a bunch of them following you too. Yeah, I know. Let me go this way so they don't. They gone. They left. They just, I literally watched them all turn around. Okay. But they followed me. All right. Let's, um, you want to answer some questions or are we going in the, we don't need to go in the new swarm catch. Um, I'm going to look at them in the front. No, 
Did you want to check the one in the front? That's that was my last question. We'll check the one in the front that that swarmed in on us. So, all right, you guys. I'm sorry about that. Um, wait a minute. Uh, why would the queen leave? It's just so many. It's so many ways, and I can't explain it this very moment that we talked about in our class. This is the reason I keep doing these lives for beekeeping is because you see, it's never the same ever. It's always different. It's always something new, right? Well, that's what we're trying to show you. And I know it's not very entertaining, nor um, this, this is pure educational. Just to show you when it comes to beekeeping, there's so many different variables that changes up everything that you need to be aware of. And I don't care how good of a beekeeper you are, you're subject to those problems. Do you think the queen swarmed? No, I think we missed her. I do. Um, I think we definitely missed her. Let, let me get, let me grab my gloves. Cause what we're gonna do now is go and to and check the box in the front of the house by the garage that everybody keeps saying. I just need some gloves. That's all. Huh? I'm okay. I gotta get some gloves on first, cause shoo, that bucket full of honey, honey sauce. Okay, listen. We just gonna answer some. We gonna answer some questions, and uh, then we'll be done. Come on, go to the front. We are gonna answer some questions, then we gonna be done. Look at that amaryllis pop out of nowhere. Oh my God, I moved a tree. I relocated it from the front of our house to the back and it had an amaryllis around it. And I still, I still, it's come over here. Oh man, I got so much stuff to do. All right. I'm gonna come over here in the shade. And we're gonna just talk. Hold on. Pop a squat, honey. Get some rest. All right, let me crank this down and we questions as we possibly can. If we can, let's try that. Come on over here. Let's see. Hey, y'all. Gotta make sure. We probably lost a signal for a second. Hold on, it a crank back over. Uh, those last two hives we were working on, those weren't the rescues. We haven't um, we haven't started working on those yet. Those were uh, bees we overwintered and split. Hey, Gina Wild. Hey, Audrey Willis. Here, How do you down, keep ants? Oh, I can't see. Don't worry about me. I got a bucket. Uh, ah, Velcro. Okay. Being attacked by Velcro. Ooh. All right. Hey, Black's Tropical Homestead. All right, y'all. What's going on? Hey, y'all. It's good to see y'all in the house. Whew. Can you see? Oh, oh you got your glasses. the is in effect. Um, what you guys just saw. Oh, you already explained that. So we're we're not going to go in the new hives just yet. Um, the one that I got from the uh, the big shipping container. It's not time to check it. Yes, it is. It's kind of time to check that. Yeah, but I'm, both I'm, of them. Both yeah. are new ones. But we'll be here. I don't want to keep y'all no longer than we already have. Plus, we got some situations that we gotta, we got to handle. Yeah, we, and and it's that'll be way too boring to watch. We gotta, right. we gotta uh, get drone brewed out. We gotta deal with the. We about mess. to do a bunch of cutting out, a bunch of salvaging wax and honey and. Uh, would you ever consider the horizontal hive system? We've yeah, done that. We've yeah. done it. Yes. Yeah. But I wouldn't do it again, no. Um, to me, that's if you want lots of bees, you're doing it more for pollination instead of honey. Well, I wouldn't do it again because all it takes is one cross comb and you are screwed. Yeah. One mistake and they, they just ruin everything. 
say that's not boring. I want to see too. They say I would like to see it. <laughs> if you know to what to me, that's one of those things that's best recorded and then edited because the amount of time it takes to do it and then show you the results. It'll be just it'll be yeah, it'll be over an hour. But yeah, that that'll be something. With us just edit. cutting all of that stuff out and yeah. uh, getting rid of the drone. Brew. Yeah, see, Hicka, what did I say? Hickabilly. <laughs> Said all those things yeah, are part of beekeeping. Not, I would. That's video. right. Yeah. That's right. We can work on that. Oh. <laughs> we watch y'all for four hours. <laughs> That's oh, true. They say we're going to watch you for four hours. We can watch you for one or two. Yeah. An hour is fine. So, yeah, if, if, you're not a, if you're not a beekeeper and you're really not interested in beekeeping, I promise you, it's the most boring thing on the planet. But I promise you this. If you are a beekeeper, you will watch for hours. If you're that interested in beekeeping, you will watch because we used to. And I want to let you guys know what I was talking about yesterday. Do your own research. If you're trying to get yourself together, I promise you this. Sitting down and watching something like this is way more beneficial than sitting down watching to see which housewife is going to snitch on the other one or which one I'm going to sleep with, which other one husband. I promise you that. Mm. That's not going to help you in the position we in right now. Uh, Black Tropical Homestead said, it's interesting for non-beekeepers learning more and more every time. Black Tropical Homestead, y'all already done started up the chickens. I'm waiting to see a hive over there. <laughs> I'm waiting to see a hive over there, Black Trapper. It's Trapical. not as complicated as today's video may no. have made it seem. But sometimes things like that do happen. You just got to deal with it. It's just a part of the process. I'll put um, your little gloves in my pocket. I wasn't going to lose them. I know, but I know if it's something crawling on it, you be, ah! <laughs> okay? That don't mean it ain't already It ain't crawling. nothing. I've been watching them this whole time. So, uh, say I'm not a beekeeper, but I find it fascinating. And you know something? That's what even push you towards becoming a beekeeper. Yeah. You learn a lot. Yes, you do. Hey, whole new hey, perspective. Hey, whole new perspective. A hey, remote hey. control, not a beekeeper, but I enjoy watching. Well, thank you. But I'm telling you, what we, what we all need to start doing is instead of just being the spectators, really start doing some research. Even if you don't fully become a beekeeper, you will know. The ins and outs. Have you ever... Okay. You know some people watch sports, right? They know everything about the game. They'll sit there and tell you, well, he should have passed the ball. That's, see, he messed up. That's why I don't like him, right? They know everything about the game, but they don't play. They don't even go to the park and shoot no hoops. They don't even play. They don't even touch the ball, right? That's where I have a problem. Now, if you in the game and you know the game and you playing the game and you not professionally, but you just in it, you can speak on it. But I want you to be able to at least know the game so good you can go and speak on it, you know? Yeah. Woman V had a good question. What's, what's that? What's the fix for no queen? So it's a couple of options. Uh, first of all, if, if our hive doesn't have a queen, there is so many queen cells in there that it's just a matter of letting those hatch out, letting them go out and mate, then there'll be a new queen. Um, another way, we could just buy a queen, you know, buy a mated queen and install her and let her release herself over the course of three days. But I, I would rather see what happened with these queen cells first before I go investing. Yeah. And, um, and, and I her DNA is DNA I want to keep, so... Her, the queens she's leaving behind, I'm sure, are going to be the bomb. Are I you mean, still raising queens? Not at this moment. It looked like we are in that one. Right, right, <laughs> right. Put it like this. If I wanted to raise queens, though, what I would do is there's like three frames with queen cells. I would take each of those frames and put them in a separate box with some more bees. And that could literally give us three new queens. But... We, we kind of get limited on space. Yeah, because that would give us three whole... You know what, though? What? Why not? Let's take um, a frame out with the queens on it. We need... An, it's, the other thing is making sure we got enough bees. We got plenty of bees. Uh, Yeah. 
It's possible. I say I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do three. I don't think it's enough for three. No, no, no. Just one. Just to show them. Yeah. We'll take one frame out and put it in that queen. When I go to the, cause I gotta go pick up a, a package tomorrow. If they don't hatch out by tomorrow, we'll take a frame out, put it in a, a nuke box, and just start a nuke with new queens in it. Yeah, we could start a nuke. It's enough for at least one nuke. We could sell that. Yeah, we could. Any takers? <laughs> I know, right? Because <laughs> uh, we need a we, plan for where. Because it's going. by the end of the year, all five of these hives will turn into ten, real or easy. Or more. Or more, because we could literally split that one like three times fold, easy. Man, Man the one with all the drone brew really could uh, be combined. Yes. Yes. So. Um, although we did see Hey, Gigi's point. natural. She just, hey, Gigi's natural. She might just need some time. She may not have gotten made it. We don't know what happened in there. I don't know, Alicia Sumner. You might want to check for that. Do she got enough room? Because I don't know what your area looks like. Yeah. And it's not just about spacing. It's also about the resources in your area. Uh, because you can have all the space, but... It doesn't have a resource to support. Millennial Stetter said, this is the first hive I've caught. I'm glad first I... Live. Oh, five. you know I ain't got my glasses, babe. Welcome, Millennial well, Stetters. Welcome, Millennial Stetters. Yes, try your hand at it. At least try, like... How do you build a home for the... For the fat uh, ones? Oh, what? no, we don't, we don't bother with you. Talking about bumblebees? Yeah, we don't deal with those uh, carpenter yeah, bees and bumblebees. Yeah. You can do that, but we got a whole bunch of something else going on here. Do you take the queen cells also? Um, I don't know in what context you're talking about would I take the queen cells. And there are some cases where, yes, I would do that, but I don't know what you're talking about. So. And woman V, how many hive do you need to have enough pollination and honey? There is no such thing. Because if you could have a giant hive with a lot of bees, it's not doing anything. What you need to be doing, just like in your garden, your soil has to be healthy, right? You got to focus on your soil. Your soil is everything. But with a hive, that queen is everything. You need to make sure that queen is healthy. That's why we're bypassing that honey that we just saw, bypassing all that crazy stuff, and we're focusing on where is that queen. I think she was asking about pollination in her garden. I know, yeah. How many hives do you need for enough pollination and honey? Oh. Yes, there's no real question. I'm mean, no answer just, to that. It depends. Yeah, On the bees no. and the queen. But I would say at least one increases whatever you had going on before. You always see the, the upside of stuff, don't you? Yeah. That's why I love you. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> if I get a bee call and the bees aren't the type of bees... To, we Honestly, we before, we, before we even go on the bee call... We do several checks. Like, we have the people send us pictures, describe where the bees are at. Because sometimes, then, even if it is honeybees, we still can't go because right. it's like a cutout situation. Or if it's on the third floor, the rafter yeah. of your house, I'm not so going up there. So, there have been several calls we've had to just say, sorry, pass your number along. Well, pass them to someone else who does do that stuff. Because, yeah, we, we only kind of deal with swarms and very simple removals. All of the other crazy stuff where you need a crane and all it No, no, oh, yeah. no. Oh, my goodness. The last removal. I did one removal. It was under a deck. Because it was under the deck, it was simple to get, but it was simple, but it wasn't simple. Right, right. <laughs> and, oh, my goodness, I got stung more than I think I ever have in my whole life doing that one. And she did that on her own. So she came home all, all busted up. I told you. Sometimes she will be on a bee call once on one side of town, and I'll be on another on another yeah. side of town. You know, I got stung so many times, I stopped even caring. I don't know if that's the right word, but it was like, up, oh, up, another bee stung me. It was like I didn't have no more reactions left. It was yeah. just like, ow. Yeah. It's like, ow. It's like you just change and exchange it's just pain. Like the, yeah, because it's like that part was already in pain. All they did was just stung it again. What was on purpose? Oh, didn't do that on purpose. Uh, my, oh, okay. 
but yeah it was it was rough but but i learned a lot um i learned a lot they from said, that they said uh thank goodness for aloe <laughs> <laughs> you know what um i do notice the years that i get stung early i don't have a problem with mosquito bites and normally i have alert very bad allergic reactions to mosquito bites I don't know if it's a connection. It just seemed like if you have you noticed the last couple of years I've been getting stung. Yeah. But no It, it ain't been nothing like it used no to be. No mosquito bite like oh, allergic right, reactions. Right. Cause she have worse mosquito bite. Yeah, mosquito reactions. bites actually last for like three or four weeks and they be like <sighs> So I don't know. I think that helped i don't yeah. know i could just be tripping. so any questions before I'm we get out of here and leave y'all alone year just to find out though i know that's right how you doing monica hey monica <laughs> black tropical homes said that's good to know you may be on to something great sources hey look come on black tropical homestead come on don't make us dry down there and bring you a, a, a box of bees <laughs> um so yeah um, we still got work to do. We got to get back in there. Yeah, let's get back in there. <clears throat> we gonna leave y'all alone. We'll we'll record what we do and edit it so that it's tolerable. <laughs> yeah, cause this is about to be real stupid. All right. Um, I had other stuff to do today, but it looked like I'm gonna be cleaning up a a bunch of honey. Mm -hmm. I'm not. I'm gonna make sure I show you guys how we harvest the honey. I'm not gonna harvest without you. Oh yeah, I forgot we gotta do that. Yeah, too. we that hard. We got some <laughs> frames of honey out there. We gotta go get. Yes. So yes. Uh, we just transferred our nukes into their deep boxes, getting ready to add another deep this weekend. What nice. kind of hive beetle prevention do you use? Um, I'll link it. I'll put the link at the bottom of this this uh video because the hive traps that I I use, I'm loving them. Yeah, that and it's a very non pesticide but. right no chemicals at all i'm gonna I'm show it to you okay remember it's gonna be in the link after this video so we're gonna get out of here y'all we're gonna just cut this thing on record and we got a lot of work to do but please be looking out tomorrow because i gotta go for a drive and i gotta go pick up a package like i need more bees now mm. i ordered bees and didn't even need them i knew this was gonna be a good year but well, but is, you got to order your bees early. And at that time, we still only had one hive. That's why they be saying to no be refunds, because you'll mess around and catch about four or mm -hmm. five swarms. We keep getting calls, and I don't even want to answer the phone right now. So I'm, I'm out of equipment. I literally, when I go pick up this package of bees, I'm going to have to buy new equipment for this package of bees, because I'm all out. GG, what, what was that? GG Tropical, you, you and... Uh, what was that? I don't know. What do you do but don't be not bees? I don't know. I don't know. Just um, You and Eco next. Soon as y'all uh, get settled, I want to see a box on that land <coughs> full of bees and chickens. Yeah. Yeah. Who was, hey, um, um, Gigi, which one of y'all was kind of like, uh-uh, on the chickens? <laughs> I, can't, I can't remember. Was it you or was it? Eco neighbors saying, uh uh. <laughs> well, and at first, I With was the like, chickens. I just didn't think you understood the weight of what will go into them. I thought you was just like, yeah, fertilizer and yeah, eggs. But I was like, wait a minute now. I don't know if yeah. you know. Because <laughs> I jumped into chickens' head first. And she was like, uh. It's a little bit more than, than eggs. But chickens. <laughs> but it's all good though. After well, he all this got year. it. He stepped up. I was like, okay. After she stood while, back. Yeah. After after a while, so I was like, okay. He he got his mind right for it. We can do it. <laughs> and I, I figured out real quick buying a little bitty. Uh, yeah. I mean, build. I built our first chicken coop and built that. I was that. like, we used to walk around my granddaddy's coop. I don't know about this. Right. <laughs> I I built it. It was so small. It was like a doghouse. She said, I don't know, babe. Um. <laughs> And I went and picked up some used chickens. I'm gonna call them used, or we can call them <laughs> certi Second hand. certified. Second hand no, chicken. that ain't, no, we don't use that these days. Okay. Certified pre-owned. Oh, pre-owned. Chicken. Yeah, pre-owned cer chickens. Certified pre-owned chicken. Like that's what they say about used yeah, cars. Yeah, certified. Certified pre-owned used certified. chicken. 
And it was pre all for sure. And we went and picked them up and put them in that little cage. I had four of them, and I looked like. <laughs> As they started growing. This ain't like, going to work this at all. This is probably, maybe one chicken could be in here. Uh, Black Tropical Home says that <coughs> uh, chicken math is real. That's right. You need at the <coughs> very minimum four square feet per hen. At the minimum. Yes. So they can stretch their wings. How you doing? I get to garden. Hey. Yeah, hey, hey. Okay. Yeah. It's a lot, but it's, it's worth it's it. It's worth it. It's worth it. I, I haven't regretted beekeeping not one minute. No. Even in the craziest of scenarios that have occurred. And I'm going to tell you this. Once you start keeping bees or chickens, for that matter, if you don't have chickens because maybe a fox or something got them all or your bees, your hive died out or something, <clears throat> it's a weird feeling after you've had them. It's, it's kind of like yeah. your kid's been in your house. It you've been raising them. For all these years, and now they don't went off to college or something. It's kind of like, man, it's eerily quiet in that time that you save for something to do. Um, you usually dedicate that to your bees or your chickens, and now all of a sudden, is nothing there. Wait a minute. What's wrong? I'm seeing if my other hot tap caught something. I'm seeing bees checking it out. Uh, so we done caught a swarm. We done went and rescued a swarm. Okay. We've done a split. No, I thought about I was... to get a package. Oh, and then we gonna end yeah. up splitting one of these soon. <clears throat> so this is a lot going on. But again, you family, if if you don't care nothing about bees whatsoever, I'm pretty sure you care about money. I'm sh pretty sure you care about your income. This is another way to heighten your income real easy really easy i don't have to go beating on nobody door and begging them to take these bees if i put these bees on the market they will be gone within the hour and i think that'll be all driving time from somebody driving over here so we're gonna get on out of here y'all we got a lot of work to do everybody have a wonderful blessed day live farmer 73 and lady led we love you and we out and if you ain't been over to my channel to subscribe Go over it's there. Just Lady Lid. Just go to Lady Lid. Oh. All right, y'all. All right. That was a uh, a shameless plug. Yes. Shame. Yeah. I know. I have yeah. no shame. No shame. <laughs> All right, everybody have a wonderful day. All right. Bye, bye, -bye. Esther. All bye, right, y'all. All right, y'all. Bye.